different script that uses FT Blender. You have uh, I copied this Python script out of the sample file so I can just use it anytime I want just by clicking on it. And this is the uh, RAR file I will eventually upload. These are two true type fonts that can be turned into bitmaps and used in Blender. So all we do here, I'll double click on use.py or python, whatever you call it. And it runs the FT Blender through a bunch of uh, various parameters. There you go. So anyway, uh, at first it opens up free type glyph viewer and you get this and uh, you press F1 for help and if you hit F2 it'll just write the image as a target file so F2 and console will say save test.tga and uh, because this and the script does this for every true type font available in the folder so you can put about 10 in there and just run the script and hit F2, F2, F2. Okay. And I was not involved with the making of FT Blender in case anyone was wondering. Uh, now we have our test.tga and our aerial bi.tga. I used test because the particular font had a weird name and I had trouble earlier. So anyway, we open this up. Uh, it opens up in paint.net for me. You'll notice this is a 37.2 kilobyte file. It's very small. Uh, it's not going to beef up the file size on your uh, blend file too much. Uh, it's just uh, white and transparency, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and as we can see, we have all the letters and numbers here in certain spaces. Uh, these big boxes you see there at the bottom are uh, characters that this particular font did not support. And up top we have our at symbol, uh, which is going to be important in the next part of the tutorial where we add uh, this text to the game engine. That's it for now though, since uh, you now have your uh, rendered bitmap